Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 65-year-old male who complains of lateral knee pain. He does run and feels a soft tissue mass almost over the lateral side of the knee and some tenderness. And he's worried about it, so he came in for an MRI. And on this view, we see a nice normal kneecap in the front. We see the cartilage along the back surface. And over the gray cartilage, we see this bright area. This is fluid in the knee joint. And this is the femur. As we come down to the knee joint, here we're at the knee joint. We see the medial meniscus is this area, lateral meniscus is this area. We see the patellar tendon in front. We see another structure right over here. This is the iliotibial band that comes down the lateral side. It goes along the edge of the femur here and attaches down on the tibia, which is below the knee joint. And his finding is related to this. This is thickened and inflamed and there's also some marrow edema where it attaches to this bone. There's a bony protuberance here we call Gertie's tubercle. Right there, see how it pokes out? And normally this is nice and uh, uniform in marrow signal like the rest of the marrow, but here it's foggy and bright. And we'll appreciate that better on this sagittal view. Sagittal view, we see the kneecap. We see the femur. We see the tibia. We see the ACL looking great. And we're going to go over towards that bright signal. And there it is. We start to get into this foggy area over here. And on this view, we see the iliotibial band coming down and attaching on this bony protuberance. And we see this bright signal, the marrow edema. So this is a chronically inflamed iliotibial band that's thick. And it's tugging away and irritating this bone where it attaches. Also, we have another view of the same thing. If we look on this coronal view, there's a view straight ahead where we can see the femur up top, tibia down below. We see the meniscus out here, the lateral meniscus. And if we go more forward, we see abnormal signal between the femur here laterally. This is the iliotibial band coming down. And the iliotibial band is going to come down here and attach below the knee on Gertie's tubercle. And right here we see this band of bright signal, vertical area of increased signal. This is between the ITB and the femur. And this is inflammation. So this is related to iliotibial band friction syndrome from jogging. And normally we just see this one thing. We see fluid here, inflammation in this area, but much more rare to see the inflammatory changes here where the uh, iliotibial band attaches to Gertie's tubercle. So he also has some abnormal signal in his meniscus, which is for another um, video. That's it. So he's got evidence of ITB friction syndrome and some hypertrophic tendinopathy or inflammation of this distal um, iliotibial band with reactive marrow edema on uh, Gerdy's tubercle here. And that's it. Thank you so much.